Happy September 16th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 quest calendar, The Leaf Riders of Renwood. When last we played, Ivy and the party made it to the top of a tower high above Crown Spire Castle, and we have confronted King Rafex, the insect king, who intends to consume the spirit of the Tree of Seasons and become a power like no one has ever seen. His words. The queen is here, abducted by Rafex. She's lying there on the floor. It's unclear what state she's in. Rafex had a bit of a monologue at us, but then Ivy had some things to say herself. The calendar told us she did such an impressive job in that regard. She gets a plus two to all damage rolls today. So this is supposed to help me remember. And that is where we left things. So... Let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. Rafex brandishes his magical staff in a flourish and with an otherworldly incantation brings forth a potent magical energy that he wields to bombard you with a deadly barrage of explosive energy. See special combat instructions. I do not see any hidden icons, so here we go. Engage in combat. Combat for today will operate in the following ways. Beware of Rafex, the Insect King. Use your wisdom to overcome his intimidating nature. Uh, Ivy's not the wisest adventurer <laughs> in the business. Um, we've got a plus two there. You'll make a wisdom roll to avoid getting frightened. Um, being frightened will make you inefficient and attack and inefficient at attacking effectively see below you'll continue to repeat the combat round until you have dealt enough damage to defeat the enemy you'll roll to determine your opponent's damage against you each round so Rafex will do d6 damage each round if we don't defend it he's got 45 health and a defense of 17 and our wisdom roll has to be 11 or better if your wisdom roll is less than that number less than 11 you are frightened reroll your attack and take the new result if it's less than your first attack roll so okay um well here we go round one uh we need to do our wisdom roll so 11 plus 2 is 13 so we we are we are not frightened this round now we want to beat his defense of 17 we get an 8 Plus our attack of 8 is 16. Can we get one more point? We should be. We have a number of ways to do this. Um, let's try Enid first. Here we go, Enid. Uh, Enid Willowfoot. Our frog archer. Uh, if we draw a club that is greater than or equal to 7, Enid comes through for us. What do we get? Nope. That's the red joker. I believe that counts as a face card. So I think Enid takes a point of damage. Uh, she's, what's her health too? Uh-oh. She's out of the game until we rest. Enid's exhausted. Okay. That's all right. We've got, she's okay. And we've got some other ways to get one more point. Uh, we have a combat tonic we could drink. And Ivy has Radiant Blast. Uh, use one surge at d4 to a single attack roll but let's save our surges if we can and we'll go ahead and use a combat tonic which is here uh, consumed on you oh this is our attack roll I was remembering we have plus two we have plus two to damage right now we're just trying to hit them <laughs> consumed on use at d4 to uh, attack roll so that we're down to one combat tonic and we don't even really need to roll this because we just need one point but we'll do it anyway three and Ivy actually gets a plus one to that roll so that is definitely a hit and now we're gonna do 2d12 plus four damage so here's my 2d12. 12 plus 4 is 16. Do we want to use any 
damage abilities? I think not yet. Uh, Vinny, we have Brindle and Kit. Should we try them first? Well, let's just see what we get. We have 12 plus 4 is 16. So Rafex is down to uh, 29. Did I do that math right? 29, 39 plus 6 is 45. Yep. Okay. That's, oh, that's round. That's our attack in round one. Now he gets to attack us. We want to defend against an attack of 18. And we get it. We rolled an 18 plus our defense of 10. We easily defend. Um, I think that means we don't take any damage. If you hit, uh, if the enemy is not defeated, it attacks you. If your defense roll is equal or less, reduce your health. Okay, I'm, we didn't take any damage that round. Excellent. Round two. Are we frightened? Nine plus two is 11. We are not frightened. Right? Yeah, we just need an 11 or better. Now we need to hit his defense of 17. 20. Excellent. I keep forgetting about our boondai. Until I roll and we would get another one. But we already have one. So we don't get another one. But we hit him. So that's great. Um, now we'll roll our, D, our damage. And we get 2d12 plus 4. That's 10. That's 14 points of damage. He is down to 15. And now we defend against his attack. His attack is an 18. We get a 17 plus our defense of 10 is 27. We easily defend. We take no damage again. This is going <laughs> really well for Ivy and party. Okay, round three. Are we frightened? Yes. <laughs> I don't know why, but uh, it's going too well. And suddenly Ivy feels very concerned. So now we do two attack rolls and take the worst. <laughs> okay, that doesn't get any worse than one. So uh, there we go. So we miss him this round. And um, we defend. 12 plus 10 is 22. We easily defend again. Okay, round four. This is our wisdom roll. It's six plus two is eight. We would need three more points and we're not going to make it. So we are frightened. Again, oh, we have our boon die. What did I say we needed? Three more points. Six, seven, eight. Do we use our boon die? That's pretty close. The boon die gives us a D4. Basically, we, that would give us a 50% chance. Sure. Let's use it, because otherwise I'll never remember to use it. So we need a three or a four, and we don't get it, and we used our boon die. All right, and now I don't even remember what that roll was. <laughs> uh, I think that was frightened. We are frightened. Okay, <clears throat> defending. Uh, no, attacking against his defense of 17. Taking the worst of two rolls, that's a 12... That's a 13, so 12 is our worst roll. Plus 8 is 20. We actually hit him, even though we're frightened. And now we want to do, can we do 15 points of damage? It's possible. 11 plus 4 is 15. He's done. Four rounds. Rafex is beaten. What does it say here? Once you've dealt enough damage to Rafex, he skitters backward in a defensive retreat and begins to guard the hourglass. Collect 2d8 amber for defeating the enemy. All right. 2d8 amber, 9 amber. Excellent. That takes us to 71 amber. That's nothing to shake a stick at. And that is all for our plus 2 damage roll that won't apply tomorrow okay we'll remove that marker and our boondai is gone and that my friends is september 16th so we shall say goodbye for now and visit ivy and friends again tomorrow i hope you'll join us thanks for watching <laughs>